1941, when the British bombers fly over Berlin, they missed the Air Force Ministry, but they did luckily get a directed on the opera. Normally, during the war, the smart thing to do is to wait until the war's over before you rebuild things. Hitler, though, was a big fan of opera and demanded it was rebuilt straight away, which, as you can imagine, wasn't a very clever idea because in 1945 it got bombed again. This one here was built um, in the 50s and no one's bombed it since, so it's still there. And on the left hand side, is uh, a building which used to be the Royal Guard House, the one with the columns, um, but is now a memorial to the victims of war and tyranny. It's so the closest thing Berlin comes to having a war memorial. The next building on the kind of pinky coloured one um, is called the Zeug House. It used to be the Armory, the Royal Armory, but it's now the German History Museum. Mm. You look at the statue, it's all kind of military like, uh, which is representing the military strength of Prussia, slightly offset by the fact the building's pink but um, maybe it was just a, one of their interesting ideas. We'll just cross over a view of the Berlin Cathedral, which is the, the big imposing looking structure uh, on the left hand side. Looks really old, but it actually isn't very old. It was only built in 1905. It's a good version of uh, example of the, the German Kaiser wanting a really big old cathedral. collection and also uh, the Egyptian Museum. This is just one of the five museums. There's this one and then behind it is, this is the old museum. It was a poorer quarter of town but it was also the home of some of the, I guess the, the driving elements of Berlin's Jewish community. Uh, Berlin obviously has a very tragic Jewish history but prior to that it had a very productive and positive Jewish history. A lot of the thinkers of the liberal Jewish enlightenment like Moses Mendelssohn uh, were based in Berlin and uh, the new synagogue which is not too far away is a, a display of the, the confidence that the Jewish community in Berlin had in the late 19th century and so we'll drive around there and jump out because it's quite a beautiful building that's uh, definitely something you should see in a nice way to, to finish off the day. The synagogue behind me is actually called the, the Neue the new synagogue. Um, it's not particularly 
new anymore. It was built in 1866, but then it was newer than the old synagogue, uh, which the, new, the old synagogue, unfortunately, now does not exist at all. There are some of the foundations of it, um, but apart from that, it's not there. This was built, as I said, in the 1860s uh, to display the, the newfound confidence of the, the Jewish community in Berlin at the time. The old synagogue was a very simple affair. In fact, the, the Jewish community was given a space to, to build a synagogue, but the building restrictions on it was it was only allowed to be one story high, which doesn't work in the synagogue where you need the male and female congregations to be separated. And uh, so they very cleverly went about it by digging down. So they made a double story synagogue that only had one story above the ground. That was built in the 1750s by over a hundred years later, which is when this was built. As you can see, they didn't have the same restrictions. In fact, this is uh, an example of, I think, a relatively opulent synagogue. In fact, the, the dome here is at the front of the synagogue. It's not actually over the, the main area at the back where services are held. The reason it's here is because you come at the back, you can't see it from the road. So it's uh, built to be, as I said, to, to be a symbol of, of confidence, which in the 1860s, the Jewish community in Berlin certainly had. Of course, that was all to change, as we've talked about already with um, the uh, with the advent of the Third Reich and uh, this synagogue though has kind of a, a nice little story despite that time as well. On the Nove November the 9th in 1938 was a night that has become known as Kristallnacht or the night of broken glass which um, was a night of violence and pogroms towards the, the Jewish community. Which